So we're going to open up the bread basket of Europe. Do the honors. My tiny pink uh, box cutter. All right, let's see what we got here. Yum box. Says the Ukraine. Hey! The Ukraine is the bread basket of. I was right. Europe. Ukraine. Kiev. I can say Kiev. Very good. Games on the back. We'll play some games. Universal Yums welcomes you to Ukraine. All right. Welcome you to Ukraine. Okay, so you want to just uh, pull stuff out? Yes. Let's start doing that. Okay, I'm not going to look at the trivia. And then we'll do the trivia at the end. Okay, so the biggest thing right here on top is... Did I do this with my glasses on? It is Potato Boom. Potato boom! boom. Uh-oh. Boom! It says it has veal and something flavor. Yeah, I'm not Corn sure. sticks with potato, veal, and ajika? Is that how you say it? Oh, let's see. It says potato and onion It says potato and onion potato boom. It also says artificial veal and ajika seasoning. Well, this says potato and onion flavored crisp. Yeah. French fries, hot, greasy, crisp, and salty. They're the quintessential American snack, and maybe the quintessential Ukrainian snack, too. In Ukraine, they serve a delectable dish called pan-fried potato, consisting of sliced potato fried in oil. While they might sound the same as french fries, there are two major differences. Instead of being dunked in a fryer, they're browned on the stovetop. And two, they've got onions. Before adding the potatoes, locals saute onions and butter, giving the dish a rich, savory, caramelized flavor. Mm -hmm. Luckily, you can experience Ukraine's oniony treat for yourself with this snackified version of pan fried potatoes. Snackified. Okay. Bones. Although we would warn you after one bite of these, you'll definitely want to try making some on your own. Look on the back of your Ukrainian map to get an authentic recipe. Alright. Is that this? Yes, yeah. it is. It has Ukrainian pan fried potatoes that you can make with potatoes, onion, butter, oil, and salt and pepper to taste. Where do you see veal? Because it doesn't say veal anywhere on one finger. It seems to be saying it right here with veal and whatever adjika is. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, veal and uh, yeah, I guess that is. That could be meat. Yeah, it looks like meat to me. But it says artificial, uh -huh. so... Oh, that's the thing. The one here has a picture of celery. Mm. It's very or interesting. Parsley. Wait, this one is a... Uh, it's tiny. And it's written in Russian. Oh. Oh, this is the original with onion flavor. Okay. Huh, so they sent us a completely different one than the one that's here. Mm-hmm. Although onion or veal is not very not meat friendly. friendly. But I don't see anything in the English. I'm a vegetarian, so um, I don't know if I would eat something that has you know, meat in it. But it doesn't seem to say in the English ingredients that are slapped on here. Oh, this is weird. I'll pull this one out next. Okay. Well, I'm ready. Is, um, sugar is connection. No. It's a, Golden chips. Golden chips. <laughs> oh, it's got a lion on it. With a with with of dill and sour cream. I mean, that with of dill and sour cream flavor. Okay. Sure, why not? So it's not just my eyeballs doing that. Uh, these chips are kind of a big deal. <laughs> no, really. Chips, Slodoyutsky, golden chips, aren't just one of the most sought-after snacks in Ukraine. 
They're also one of the most unique. Unlike ordinary sliced potato chips, golden chips are made from mashed potatoes, then dried and cut to create delicate paper thin sheets. In the past 15 years, these flaky yums have become a household staple, beloved for their crispy texture, 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 and authentic local flavors. The golden chips we've selected for you are loaded with cool sour cream and fresh dill, a flavor combo found in one of Ukraine's most famous dishes, hmm, Krypt Kartoplitya Z Vershkami. Very good try. How would you, okay, then how would you say that? No, I don't think I would attempt that because I don't know the... One of the words is actually just the letter Z. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just Z. Krip kotor plopki zit vrishkinyo. It sounds like I'm talking backwards. Ah! Well. So it translates to uh, young potatoes with sour cream and dill. Getting to try a Ukrainian classic and a unique potato chip all in one snack, as we said, a big deal. They, they did it twice. And these are both potato things. Yes. And, well, dill is not onion, so this is more you friendly. What's I don't the, mind onion flavor. 25 years of store. Okay, so next. Oh, that looks interesting. You no. Okay, I'll do this one. That's weird too. Uh, this one is called Shude Cinnamon Caramel Chocolate. Okay. Shude. Milk chocolate with cinnamon caramel filling. Confession. No one is eating this chocolate in Ukraine. To be clear, these chocolates are extremely popular, just not right now. You see, over 75% of Ukrainians practice Orthodox Christianity and are currently in the middle of Great Fast, a Lenten period from March 11th to April 27th, during which foods like dairy, eggs, meat, and sugar are strictly avoided. As this yum contains both milky chocolate and sugary caramel, it's pretty much off limits for locals participating in the Great Fast. But it won't be that way for long. Given this chocolate's creamy texture and sweet cinnamon flavor, be glad you can try it now. All right. You can try it now. Before it starts flying off store shelves again next month. <sighs> so, they're lost. you think they wouldn't make it. Um, in a time where... Well, not everybody participates in that. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a different flavor? Yeah, this is the onion with onion flavor. One. So that's... was there another potato version in there? Well, or do it. they just have two boxes? Nope, there's one on the back. Oh, okay, so it just looked so similar because it's the same thing, but you read the one. Right. So read the one for the veal. This one is <laughs> veal and ajika potato. Boom. So two boom things and yeah. three potatoes. Roast veal and ajika flavored crisp. Does not contain meat. Well, thank you for that. Every thank country you. has a favorite condiment. The U.S. has ketchup. Italy has pesto. Mexico has salsa. And Ukraine, they have ajika. The United States is ketchup? You know it is. This mildly spicy sauce is made with carrots, tomatoes, garlic, and chili pepper and serves as an accompaniment to, well, pretty much anything. It's slathered on bread, poured into soup, drizzled atop vegetables, mixed into scrambled eggs, and most commonly paired with meat. In fact, the name Achka comes from the word for salt, which should give you an indication of how pervasive the condiment is. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we're saying that right. Ajika? Yeah, because I just Ajika. picked I just picked something. But who knows, you know, I I can only be familiar with the uh, pronunciation in a limited number of countries. So. It's actually pronounced 
the chicken is silent. See if you can taste the spices. Basil, paprika, chili, garlic, bay leaves. Mm -hmm. That makes up the distinctive pungent flavor. Okay. Then see if you agree with this statement. We just found your new favorite condiment. So we read those backwards, everyone. I guess. Yeah, I messed up. Well, how... Don't keep rubbing how, it in. No, but how likely is it that they would have two things that are both potato boom sticks and just different flavors? Yeah, and it was like layered on the bottom. It's so unusual. I didn't see it. Yeah. But now you know that we're not cheating and looking ahead. Now you know. It's not scripted. This is all... I know it's very hard to imagine that we've come up with something like this on the fly, but we do. It's our talent. What's next? Uh, waffle curds. Waffle curds? Slasty curd waffles. <laughs> Wafers with chocolate and cheese. Chocolate and cheese? That's a ween album. Chocolate and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Curd waffles might oh, not okay. elicit any oohs and ahs from, well, anybody. I got a squeaky noise. Okay. Is that like an ooh or an ah? It was a no. Your girl, that was just a butt. No. But keep an open mind. Cheese curd is Ukraine's most popular type of cheese. Is that a type of cheese? Cheese curd? I thought all cheese curdled. Yeah. Well, uh, devoured plain or incorporated into traditional dishes like Sereniki, curd pancakes, and Nalinsky, curd Looks crepes. Good. Don't you make uh, Ukrainian something in any key? Sereniki? Yeah. Yes. Sereniki. I think that's how you say that. They're potato things. Potato? Like, yeah, that you take. But they're boom. Um, like Don't mashed potato and. and Fry them in butter. Remember those? Mm, yeah. So there was no cheese though, right? I don't Just... think so, but they were delicious. Yeah, oh, I like those. So good. It took forever to make. That's a snack thing that we can do for the uh, thing. It takes so long. In fact, curd is such an important cheese product that the Ukrainian word for it is sear. Literally translates to cheese. <laughs> Uh, but making this local flavor favorite is no <laughs> walk in the park. First, a mixture of milk and buttermilk must be baked, then placed in a warm room for 24 hours. Mm -mm. Love 24 hour warm milk in the room. Warm mm, milk. The mixture is then heated on a stove and placed back in the room for another 24 hours. Delicious. It's then heated once more before being placed in cheesecloth and hung for 8 to 10 hours. So it's a 50 hour cheese. 50 hour room cheese. These results a soft, delicate cheese that looks like a cross between feta and cream cheese. Mm. And foot cheese. It doesn't say foot cheese. It's magma. With a mild, nutty taste <laughs> that complements both sweet and savory dishes. So don't feel the name scare you. I'm not scared. That actually says, so don't let their name scare you, but I decided to say feel because reasons. With a flaky texture and rich chocolate taste, these wafers are seriously lit delicious. It says, uh, Fascinating. yeah, sear. Sear, lustly delicious. So I was pronouncing that. Cheese look delicious. The joke was cheesy. Yeah! I'm ashamed of myself for saying that. Yeah. Roshan. Roshan. Ah! Roshan. Milk chocolate. Milk this is chocolate! Roshan creme brulee chocolate. <laughs> Milk chocolate with creme brulee filling. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. The United States and Ukraine have one very major thing in common. They're both elected famous businessmen as presidents. Don't say that. <laughs> That's what it says. You don't have to repeat it. Ukraine's current president, Petro Poroshenko, 
is also the owner of its largest candy company, Roshan. So they elected a president who makes candy. That seems like um. Why can't we elect Willy Wonka? That would be. No, it wouldn't be worse than now. Oh no, Donnie Depp is Willy Wonka now. The name was taken from his last name, Poroshenko. Roshan. Yes. Nicknamed the Chocolate King, Petro started the company in 1966 after buying several failing candy factories <laughs> from the bank. Today, his candy empire has become the 24th largest in the world with more than 1.5 billion in annual sales. In September 2017, President Poroshenko and President Trump met for the first time to discuss the United States' support of Ukraine. While we don't know their full conversation, they probably didn't talk about chocolate bars. Why not? Actually, I, I think they probably did. Yeah. So instead, we will. This milk chocolate bar, inspired by the famous French dessert, is filled with a gooey caramel cream filling and has been enjoyed by the Ukrainians for over a decade. Sit back, enjoy, and try not to think too much about politics. I will do that. I, I just thought about it. I just thought about politics. I thought about it way more than I intended to in this video. Oh man, I just thought about it again. Stop. Bring um, more food. Well, there's only one more, and it's the yum bag. Okay. Yum bag. That's right, so this will have little candies or something. Multiple candies. And it says, sweet, cool, crunchy, wild, crazy. So what's inside? Sour. Yummy. Inside the yum bag are two things. One of them is Minky Binky. Minky Binky. Assorted fruit, assorted fruit caramels with fruit filling. That sounds delicious. It's Minky Binky. I like that. See the little cartoon monkey on this Yum's wrapper? You know? You want me to... Or do you want to... Sure, sure. Okay. Okay. Minky Binky. See the little cartoon monkey on this Yum's wrapper? That's the Minky Binky Monkey. That's the Minky Binky Monkey. Why a monkey? For starters, this soft, milky sweet was introduced in Ukraine in the year 2016, which was the year of the monkey in the Chinese zodiac calendar. Very important to Ukrainians, apparently. Yes. But this quirky character also represents the product itself a fun tropical twist on milky caramels. It quickly became one of Ukraine's most popular sweets. The Minky Binky was also the first milk caramel to incorporate real fruit juices. Wow. As it turns out, this monkey business was a complete success. Not only was Minky Binky the top selling candy in the Ukraine in 2016, but three years later, it still remains a hit amongst locals. We have a feeling You'll go bananas for it, too. Who's writing this stuff? I did. You're lying. I am. What's next? The Roshan Ladybird. Oh, so this is that president thing again. Yeah, it's his name. Assorted fruit gummies with juice fillings. Lucky you! Today you get to try Ukraine's Lucky Ladybird candy. Enjoyed across the country on birthdays and special occasions. What makes it lucky? According to a Christian legend, Europe was once flooded with swarms of aphids, small insects that cause plants to wilt. That caused incredible destruction to fields upon fields of crops. When the panic-stricken farmers prayed to the Virgin Mary for help, strange red spotted bugs began, began appearing, gobbling up the pesky aphids and saving the crops. The Grateful farmers named the bugs Our Lady's Beetles, which eventually changed to the name Ladybugs. And since then, ladybugs have been a sign of luck and success throughout Europe. 
Beneath this candy bright spotted wrapper is a delightfully chewy texture and sweet and tangy flavors like pear, raspberry, grapefruit, apple, and strawberry. Yum! Getting a chance to try this candy is a lucky thing in me. Okay. Roshin. Ladybird. So it's time for us to eat the things. So ladybugs were made by Jesus. Jesus' so, mom. We have two kinds of candy, fruity candy. We have three kinds of chocolatey things, one of which is more cookie-ish. And three potatoes. And Jesus. Yes, Jesus. See, this one is Jesus, and this one is Jesus. Okay. Oh, it's squishy. It's a gummy. I didn't expect it. Yeah. With fruit and juicy fillings. It might have gelatin. I'm probably not supposed to eat it. But I'm going to try it for science. So. Is carrageenan gelatin? <laughs> well, I think that it probably says it on there. Well, actually, it might not because it's a little. It's got paprika and turmeric in it. Okay. Beeswax. Maybe not then. Where do you want to start? Uh, let's start with stuff that we can eat. Like, uh, since, well, how about the potato things? Let's do a potato <laughs> thing. Now you have narrowed it down to three. Are you going to eat um, any of the veal and achika flavor yes. ones? Okay, let's hit that. Okay. That's the big lot meat. Actually, since this is dill, let's do this one first. The, uh, Onion flavored. Sure. Oh, they, look, they put it in like a little McDonald's container. Oh, you're Come right. On. It looks like French fries. Yeah. In a McDonald's. It's, it, this is the hit snack. Oh, they, they actually put the. Uh, I read it. Yeah. were like, do you know the comic strip? I don't think so, but I might have had what you're talking about. They're like in a little round can, right? No, they're in a blue bag. Okay. Like a slightly smaller than that. And they I make think this hot, is good. There's a version that's hot fries. And then there's this. Actually, this tastes like fun ones. That happened last time. We had a lot of fun like Yeah, a lot of fun in this. That, yeah, that tastes like fun games. I like this. It's um, it's not weird. Um, it kind of has an app taste that's a little unusual, I think. But it's it wouldn't be completely out of place. Like, if you bought this in the United States, you'd probably just be like, oh, that's a good potato chip flavor. They do very much resemble french fries, mm -hmm. except their chip texture. Like potato sticks mm -hmm. and Andy Cap hot fries. They're the exact same texture as, as hot fries. Very crunchy. There's a list of uh, strange Ukrainian superstitions here. So, should we try something else and then yes. while we're eating the rest of it go through the booklet? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's next? That's you. Are we gonna go back and forth between Whatever snacky you feel. food and candy? Dealer's choice. Well, I'm not really a big fan of dark chocolate, so let's get that yeah, out of the way. Right. Um, we might 
like it. But let's try the dark chocolate just I'm because. I'm about that though. I know because I like coffee, but. And licorice. Mm -hmm. So you like gross things. You would think that you would like dark chocolate. Let's try this because I'm kind of expecting just my personal but prejudices to that, make me dislike this. Is that the one filled with creme brulee? I don't think so. That's oh, the that's the cinnamon egg. one. Wait, can you eat cinnamon? Yeah. Okay. So this is like little blocks. I'll show the camera. It's like little blocks. Um, so easily split. I feel like future drugs would come in a, a container like that. Yeah. Drugs from the future. Someone took one of them. Okay. See, see, cinnamon chocolate seems like it would be weird. It just smells like chocolate. It smells like dark chocolate. Oh, it's got a creamy thing in their mouth. Mm -hmm. um, which helps it not taste as, like, bitter. Mm. Um, this is it's pretty really good. really sweet mm -hmm. in the middle, whatever that stuff is. Mm -hmm. I mm. like this. I just got hit with the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Very cinnamony. Um, it's kind of like those Valentine candies that you get, like, where they have different stuff in the middle, and you never know really quite what you're going to bite into. I always like those. Mm -hmm. This one. This one tastes like... Um, uh, those dark Hershey miniatures, but then someone put something on it to try to make it taste better. So you're not really fan? No, I'm. It's weird. I don't like. I don't like that one that much. We should have paper towels in case we want to spit stuff out. Oh. I'm not gonna spit that out, but I'm close to it. Really? Mm-hmm. Mine. I like it. Much more than I thought I would. I need to get that taste out of my mouth. So I'm going to do the veal potato sticks <laughs> next. Sure. I don't know. See, I didn't think cinnamon and java would go together to begin with. As soon as I heard that, I was like, that's not. No es bueno. No es bueno. I enjoyed that. Whoa, that smells like Spam. Definitely has a weird, like, meaty smell. It smells like, like pseudo meat. It smells oh. like Spam. I like Spam. Oh, there's another one in there. Yeah. I thought you were seeing that one. I thought you saw it. Nope. It was under the secret seal. It was under the secret seal. I'll wait on that. I still look at that taste of all that. I drank stuff and. I see. Palette cleanser. You need some bread or something to get it out. So let's try something that's trying to taste like potato veal. This will get it out. They, I mean, it smells like spam, so. Oh, I have a very spam taste when I put it in my mouth. Mmm, maybe. Oh, wow. And the spices all just came out. That, is that the Ajaka? Is that the one that has yeah. Ajaka? I'm just weirded out by this because I don't eat meat. This tastes like spam and tomato. There is a tomato taste. Mm -hmm. Wow. They look identical to the other ones I showed you guys. That's why like, boom! I, I felt the adjuka. It boomed in my mouth. This isn't actually too bad. At first I was just like, Ugh. but. No, it's not that bad. It tastes like spam and tomato on a french fry. Yeah, there's all those other flavors that you almost forget the potato, but it's there. It's pretty good. That's a weird one, too. That's pretty weird. The other one was a little more normal for us. This was weird, but in a bad way. This is weird, but in an okay way. But I mean, like, the other potato stick was kind of more traditional American flavor. Yeah. Whereas this is a little bit strange. For that us. was the handicap fries that is not that are not hot. Or funyuns. Yeah, that was funyuns. <laughs> this is tomato and spam 
sticks. Okay. I, I mean, I can't think of anything even closer to spam with like tomato sauce, not like sliced tomato, but right. Like, yeah, like, like spaghetti sauce. For exactly. Me. That's what it tastes like. Like, man, I might have to make some spam and tomato. Like fry up some spam and put spaghetti sauce on it. It's, yeah. it's it's cool. It's good. It's good, but it's weird. It's got chili natural flavor. This I would eat like Africa. at someone's party, but I probably wouldn't go out and buy it myself. Right. Unless I had like a really weird craving. And you never get those. Like, mm, man, I want some spam. You know, I got like two can two kinds of spam in my house right now. Just so, like for all the times that you're pregnant. Bacon and spam and chorizo spam. Okay. It wiped out that uh that taste of that stuff. It's pretty powerful. Mm. The spices. The spices are super powerful in that. Mm-hmm. I don't think you could even eat that with any kind of dip or anything like that. I mean, you could, but. Oh, <laughs> you wouldn't but taste why? a bit. Yeah. Next. Chew. I'm gonna try a candy. Mm. Let's try the monkey candy thing. Monkey. So this looks like orange and grape. Mm -hmm. Do you want orange or grape? I don't have that much of a preference. I didn't get to see the monkey. This monkey looks like Fozzie Bear. Oh, okay, he looks more like monkey on that one. But this one, his head is sort of wrapped up and looks like Fozzie Bear. Mm -hmm. If you don't care, I'll take the orange one. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, okay. This so is try. filled toffee. Oh, that sounds good. I like. It's candy. got two wrappers. Yes, it does. It's got a gold wrapper. Mine or is has it silver? Silver, yeah. Okay, it's silver. I'm just okay. in the weird part of the light. I bit mine rather than eating it. So you're an owl. One, or two, three. Oh, three. Oh, three. Oh, it's chewy though. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh, yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. As predicted, I like candy. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I like that. It's very sticky. Um, it's good. Fruity. The thing is that. Gummy. This is an anti show bag. Mm -hmm. I don't like getting things stuck in my teeth. Although it's really good. It comes out of your teeth pretty easily. I don't know, it's, it's not pulling like all of this stuff out of my teeth. <laughs> it's my toothbrush. You can clean your teeth with candy? Yeah. yeah. Dentist recommended. I Three like out of that five. too. I like that. Did it taste grapey? Mine was very grapey. Mine was very orangey. Okay. Oh, so. that tasted really weird after the candy. <laughs> I bet it does. And I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I not, recommend against not it. Not going to do it. Okay. Okay. Well, this has a lot of weird stuff, so I'm going to go weird with the... Uh, Curd. The cheese and chocolate cookie. I think it's going to be delicious. But here's the thing. Like, this, I guess, this is what it's supposed to look like. Do you think that can be seen up there? I showed it to them earlier. So that's supposed to be, what is this thing up here? What is this tampon thing on the... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Look. I saw it. <laughs> I don't know. What is that supposed to be? I guess we'll see. Well, no, I can feel that it's this thing. That is not in this package. I guarantee it's not in this package. Yeah. Now 
the Ukrainians don't want you to get into their stuff. That's why they put up the wall. thing. This is, looks messy. It's going to be very crummy. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't like that. So, I'm going to, I'm going to eat mine over this box. Okay. Good old box. We're such pigs, we don't even have a freaking plate. You want the top of this box? No. Oh, you got the thingy there. I don't really like the smell. No, it smells like really weird chocolate. It smells almost alcoholy. It has like a liqueur smell to it. Yeah. It just tastes like a chocolate wafer though. Like a chocolate sugar wafer. I'm right. not getting cheese at all. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Is it? It's in between. That middle white stripe. Huh? There's two There's of them. There's two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to eat a white stripe then. Mm -hmm. oh, it tastes very good. I like this, but the white stripe tastes like the um, chocolate liqueur part that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. That's where that is coming from. This is super sweet. I always heard that um, candy and stuff in other countries was not as sweet as in, some, in the U.S. That we use way more sugar and stuff. Well, definitely in Japan, they don't have as sweet sweets. Unless it's just sugar. <laughs> mm. There's some sugar crystals and stuff, but the this candy good. over there is not very sweet. Yeah, I like this. I, I like it. I was not expecting to like it because it smelled funny. It does smell funny, and but it's very chocolate wafer-ish, mm -hmm. and um. Yeah, not unusual at all for American taste buds. This type of thing is a thing that I would eat with. Uh, milk or a really cold glass of water. Mm. I would drink it with coffee. Because it's very sweet. <laughs> yeah. It I don't think it's that sweet. I mean, it's sweet. Oh, this is really sweet. I bet you there's a... ingredient in the filling is sugar and then confectionery fat which I don't know what that is. I'm going to finish it off while you chew something else. But mm. I want to try the other candy. I like that. Mm -hmm. I did too. I wouldn't eat a lot of it. Yeah. Because it's, it's, <laughs> it's super sweet. It's hard to eat the entire one. Salmon. But I did it. Mm -hmm. I manned up. I want to eat the ladybugs. Of course you do. Mm. Okay, this is next. I'm going to be a minute. Okay. So this is named after the president guy, Roshan. And it's a, a fruity flavored gum. Good. I'm thinking it's gonna be like a gushers. It's um, it's got a visible thing in the middle. That looks like an alien thing. Yeah, I wonder if you can see it on the video. Yeah, you can definitely see that. Oh, I got orange. You got an orange one. Yours is orange, mine's yellow, and they have mine like- Mine doesn't have a visible thing in the middle. Well, they have like thingies to show you, like to make it look like it's a bug. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, it's supposed to look like that a ladybug. Texture. Well, see how it's got the ladybug face. Ladybug face. Mm. Mm. Gummy bear-like. Oh. 
it's mine has like almost like a spearmint in the middle stuff. Mm. Do yours have like a was the juicy stuff in the middle a uh, weird flavor? I don't think so. And mine was very oozy. It wasn't like juice. It was like toothpaste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. My compliments to the chef. I like it. Mm -hmm. Um, the I stuff in the middle was. I just did a steep one. <laughs> no, that was fine. That was good. Um, mine was super fruity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stronger flavors than like a gummy bear or something. Yeah, the it was very gummy bearish though, where it had that um, like I think when they make gummy bears, the last stage they like put it in uh, like sugar to get that dried feeling on the outside, but then as soon as it touches your saliva, it gets all wet. <laughs> you know, it gets. It, that dryness goes away completely. So it was the outside was very gummy bearish, but the inside of mine was like gel toothpaste. Weird. Was yours? That I didn't thick? get a taste the taste of like spearmint or any difference in the flavor, which is weird because you could really see that there was a nodule that looked like a pea inside. Yeah, mine had like it wasn't a huge spearmint taste, but there was a slightly minty almost taste to the uh, to the jelly the, to the juice in the middle maybe I just swallowed it too fast well mine squirted right out <laughs> vegetable juice for color oh this is the one that had the paprika and turmeric turmeric in it okay I'm, I'm going did I pick a savory thing every time no I picked the wafer thing so we had a monkey and we had a lion, was there? Oh, and a ladybug. Oh. I wonder if you're supposed to open it with this thing. Uh, cool. So this is the one that has like the Pringles process where they make it into mashed potatoes and then they roll it out into super thin sheets. Okay, this, wow, that looks weird. Uh-oh. It looks like a cracker. Wow, they're very thin. Super thin. Yeah. That means that it's healthy. No, it doesn't. Oh no! It's all over you. Oh. Mm. No, most of that is me. Very uh, long. That looks too fat. And that almost see through. Mm -hmm. the oh, this is supposed to be dill too? Mm. Oh, sour cream. Okay, that's good. This tastes like Pringles. It does? It tastes exactly like a sour cream Pringle. It doesn't have a very strong scent. It has almost no scent. It smells sort of oily. Hmm. I didn't smell it. I just tasted it was Pringles. Well, you can now smell it. No, I mean, I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't smell it. But, like, when you eat it, it's sort of like you can smell the flavors. Hmm. It's pretty flavorful for something that has almost no scent. Um... Yeah, this is a little bit on the bland side, considering how huge the spices were on the potato sticks. But um, I think this is tasty. It's light, easy to chew. Uh-oh. I would have been impressed if you put, like, a candy on it. I am not going to impress you. You don't have any more yeah. candy. Hmm. That was interesting. It's like um, <laughs> spam on a Pringle. But that made this more flavorful and this made that less shocking. I 
was it to you? Was it as good for you as it was for me? I don't like the spam thing. Spam and onions. I'm just like not into that. Not my favorite flavor. So as a person that carried around a can of spam. Yeah, I didn't need it. That's, that's weird. When I did all three of those together, it's like I had a big mouthful of mashed potatoes. Uh, with um, and someone that put a lot of weird spices on. They're not weird, they're Ukrainian. Don't be racist. <laughs> Ukra's not a race. <laughs> it's a journey. I like those crispy things, but I'm not gonna eat another one right now because we can finish one more thing and then eat while we do the games. Okay, because, yeah. So the last thing is chocolate, and it's milk chocolate, so I expect to like it, unless it just like, you know, tastes like a butt. It's creme brulee milk chocolate. I'm too short and completely incapable of moving. Thank you. So I get to open this? Yeah. Okay. The president guy. How many lines are on here? President guy chocolate. Three lines. So it's got this external thing like any chocolate bar over here. I think that was a movie. Three. three lines, maybe it's four lines. It's, um, it's got some like filling has already le sort of leaked out onto the package. It's a uh, <laughs> one of the grandmother's eye. Uh, it's not. <laughs> so this looks very messy. Um, wow, that is very extremely messy. Yeah, it's it's like cracked some of the... I don't want to touch that with my hand. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want one of these edge ones? Yes, yeah, so I'm Here, I'll, I'll eat the messy stuff. It smells like liqueur again. I'm going to show y'all how it came out. Like it was like this in the package. Kind of cracked already. But you know, it came came a far distance to Florida. What do you think? I don't taste anything yet. It tastes like a chocolate liqueur. Creme brulee is just blow torched milk, right? Or I mean sugar. Well, creme brulee is like a custard, and then it has sugar on top that you melt with a blow torch. So this in the middle is the creme brulee flavor. It has that taste. Mm. I'm so unprofessional. I'm getting a spam call in the middle of a phone call. In the middle of making a video. Turn your ringer off. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't taste weird or anything. It's just or is it chocolate, chocolate bar. A lot of chocolate. A little bit like a caramello bar, but I'm gonna do it. I'm pressure. I'm not impressed anymore. So I did that for no reason. For science. That doesn't. That doesn't make me feel so good. <laughs> Don't do it. Chocolate covered spam is. Wow, that is. Nasty. We don't have anything that I can use to get that taste out of my mouth. You have two drinks down there. It, they're not going to be enough. Well, you did it to yourself. Because of your encouragement. Huh. You said you would be impressed. Yeah, but we already ate the candy because I didn't mean the chocolate. No, it was a potato chippy thing you said you would be impressed if I ate a candy on it. Yeah, and we didn't have any candy yet. Oh, we left. Candy. I had a mouthful of chocolate. Yeah, but chocolate isn't candy. I, well, it, I mean it is, but I was talking about the candies. Uh -huh. I already ate. 
a hard one, man. Can I do? Well, now you screwed yourself over. Um. I think it'd be really weird to buy potato chips like this. Maybe they think it's weird to buy them in a can. Are these genius ball? Is that a Ukrainian accent? I don't know. Is this Jimmy's bull? That's racist. Ukraine is not a race. Stop making fun of other people's nationalities, man. I'm not making fun of them. I'm celebrating them. You're attempting to... Uh, celebrate sound, them? You're attempting to sound Celebrate like them? them? Yeah. Trying to sound like them. In with, solidarity. With no actual knowledge of what they sound like. Which means that I'm not trying to sound like them. So, you're relying on stereotypes. Of who, though? We don't know. Exactly. Probably Russians. <laughs> it's nearby. But offensive. I love Russians. Like the Black Widow. I'm a quarter Russian. Played by Scarlett Johansson. Scar Joe, Russian. Stop. What? <laughs> so, we ate some of everything. Okay. And I'm going, you can have all of this. But I don't want to eat the spam things. I'm not very anxious to eat more of those either. Okay. I'm sort of like, you know what I would do with these? I would sprinkle them on top of something. Mm, like what? Rice, maybe. Oh, that would be interesting. I don't like know if I'd like that. Crushed up. That texture would be weird. I mean crushed up. Or toast. Butter toast. I want to dump my um, fried rice into crumbs. I keep a very clean house, people. So. Um. We are supposed to rate our stuff. Do I still have a mm. pen down there? I do not. I'm thinking that I don't, so what I must about not. about over here? I must not have come prepared. Oh yeah, over there I have markers. But do you have a pen? Yeah, in the shoe. Oh, markers. Um, so I can use the pink one. I could use the black one because I'm racist. Hmm. <laughs> you did take the pink one for yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess we should decide. So this is hard. This That's is going to be a, Stop. That's not racist at all, but objectionable somehow. So I've got to decide, like, what was the best, what was the second best, what was the worst, and what was the weirdest. Well, the spam potato things was the weirdest. Um, I would concur. So that is, because these pictures are extremely small, I guess that must be this one. Yeah, because the other one has, like, a little green stripe on it. Right? Yeah. yeah. So this is weirdest for me. The um, spam potato thing? Yeah. That's definitely, wow. Excuse me. definitely weirdest for me. Um, Can you smell that? No. You're lucky. You can put me down for that as weirdest too. You have to write it in your color. That's racist. I know. We're over here being as racist as we can be while we eat food. What's that in the middle there? That, oh, okay. I know what that is. A letter. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what is this? This is not a pen. You're right. It's a marker. Is there something better in there? I don't know. If not, are these all pens? They look like pencils. Yes, they do. So next, you should try one with the pink whale on it. Where? Oh, the... Uh, 
So I went to the right and it just made a gigantic mark like a paintbrush. Yeah, it must be a brush marker. That's exactly what that was. Because I like to art. That's a pencil. Look at the size of... Oh, here you go. Some of those are marker pens. That's the same thing I just used. These guys are the same thing. I'm using Micron 01. This? No, it's white. Oh. White pen. The ones that look just like this. These markers. This. Markers. <laughs> Um, once I say point 0.1, it's probably thin enough. Any of them say point 0.1? Those say point 0.5. It says point 0.05. Oh this one says oh 0.01. There you go. go uh, it doesn't matter what color it is this, because it's not pink. Hopefully it has a point. What's your point? Because it might not have a point. Does it have a point? I think so. Okay. If it's writing, it has a point. Now it looks like I've got some kind of... Pen, dis pen diarrhea. Okay, but the rest is hard. I mean, that was probably the not for me. Um, well, you the worst very didn't the, like the dark chocolate. Yeah, that's the shells thing. That's this thing here, right? Dark chocolate. Um, shells. Yeah. 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 Natural sweet caramel cinnamon. So that was the worst for you. Oh yeah. What was the best thing? Yeah, that's hard. Probably one of the candies. The monkey candy, maybe. Really? The monkey candy was the caramel one with the fruit. Yeah, that was the grape beef fruit caramel. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the monkey thing was the best. That surprises me. And the We're second not usually best. that into like that fruity candy. Nope, but that one was okay. And the second best was the Slattis curd waffle. Um, is that the this? Yes. Second best for you? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's hard. That's what she said. I got it. Did it fall on the floor? Yeah. That, that's what I just put in the box. I'm going to put, um, I actually like the non-spam potatoes the best. The onion-y one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to best that. Second, I think I liked, um. I went all sweet this time. And sweetheart. My worst was also my weirdest. Oh, the, uh, mm -hmm. wait, the Spam potatoes? Yeah, I didn't like it. Even though I ate, like, a bunch of it. Yeah, that, that surprised me. Yeah, I'm going to put weirdest is the same thing as the worst. And you liked the dark chocolate, too. It was okay. I didn't love it. But I liked it. And then, I'm just not sure about it's second best. Um, I guess I, um, I actually liked... Yeah, that's pretty good. You didn't care for this. Well, I didn't dislike it. It was, like I said, that one was super sweet, and but I think that the reason I put that as second best mm -hmm. is because I think with a good drink, that would be awesome. I'm going to put the Minky Binky as my second favorite, too. Well, I put it as my first favorite. I know. Um, did I answer them all? I did. Okay, great. I did like this chocolate, but... The cinnamon chocolate thing. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite? Yeah. I put the potatoes. Onion potato. potato. And then, and then your uh, second favorite was the minky minky. Yeah. So, where's the trivia thing? That's where we here. try to guess things. That's in here. Okay. That's that's fun for me. Okay. So let's do that and let everyone make fun of us for getting things wrong. 
and I flipped and went right to the answers, but I didn't like get a good look at it. Okay. I believe you, I guess. Number one, true or false, the full name of Ukraine is the Ukraine. I'll say false. I'm going to say true because that's just a dumb thing. Oh, I, I guess, no, the United States. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I was thinking, like, why would they put that there if it wasn't true? Well, the Ukraine. I think a lot of people say it. So, Maybe. the question is, should they? Okay. So I'm going to say false. And I'm going to say true. Number two. Over 25% of the Ukrainians, A, grow their own vegetable, B, bike to work, C, have visited the United States, or D, speak three languages. Bike to work. I kind of feel like I want to say that too. I know that's typical of a lot of Asian countries, East Asian countries, I should say. But, um, although, grow their own vegetable. I like to say that because I like to work for a long, long time. It doesn't have anything to do with them. I don't know why. But biking to work is awesome. 25% is a lot, though. I, I want to say bike to work, too, but then we're just going to keep matching. And hmm. I kind of well, want to say... We grow, disagreed on the last one. Yeah. I want to say grow their own vegetables. I'm going to say grow their own vegetables. Okay. Well, that'd be right. 25% is so much, though. That's a lot. That's a lot for people to grow your own vegetables. I bet a lot of people in Ukraine may be, like, agrarian. Maybe. No, they're Ukrainian. <laughs> Number three. Ukraine is home to the world's largest, A, statue, B, instrument, C, sneaker, or D, loaf of bread? Instrument. I'm going to say loaf of bread. Okay. Because didn't they start off saying the bread basket of the world? That's a very good point. <clears throat> Four. Ukraine has a special version of vodka made with A, apricots, B, red peppers, C, maple sap, or D, cinnamon. Good question, but they put cinnamon in some of these things. I'm gonna yeah. say cinnamon. I was going to say cinnamon too, because I was going to say, yeah, they f mess up a lot of stuff with cinnamon. I'm going to say cinnamon in the liquor. Yeah, I'm going to say vodka. cinnamon as well. Mm. Number five, it is customary for Ukrainians to avoid A, smiling at strangers, B, watching scary movies, C, walking in the rain, or D, cooking after dark. Ooh. Random. That's hard. That's I don't know what they do. I don't know what their life is like. And this is what they're avoiding. Yeah. I'm going to be... You know what? I'm going to tell you after my your answer. Um, I will say, um, what was the third one? Walking in the rain. Mm -hmm. What was the other choices? A was smiling at strangers, B was watching scary movies, and D was looking, um, cooking after dark. Smiling at strangers. I was going to say smiling at strangers too, because I was going to say, I'm going to be racist against you, Chris, here, and go with that whole uh, Eastern European, everything is like dystopian future. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's why they're so happy when they get black market blue jeans. <laughs> Don't smile. What? 
You said it too. She said it too. I don't know enough about pop culture to know what you're talking about with the blue jeans. Oh, that's not. Is it pop culture? I don't know um, what you're talking about. During the Cold War, it was uh, often said that one of the things that was smuggled past the uh, Iron Curtain was uh, black market blue jeans. And so Russians and Eastern Europeans would go crazy over getting the America blue jeans. I don't know anything about that. Uh, Even though I lived through the Cold War. Go on. Let's see what else we're wrong about. Six. Ukraine is the world's largest producer of A, sugar meats, B, mustard, C, wool, or D, sunflower seeds. Uh oh. What's the first one again? Sugar beets. I don't know. I'll say sugar beets. Well, I don't think it's sunflower seeds because I don't think they have sunflowers because they don't have sun in the Ukraine because it's bleak dystopian future. I'm going to say it's wool because they got hella sheep and it's hella cold in the Ukraine. All right. Maybe it is wool. I'm saying wool. What is the national dish of Ukraine? No. Oh. It says of Ukraine, which makes me think that my first one is wrong. They said that in like a bunch of the other ones. <laughs> Well, look, at the, look at the top of the fucking thing. <laughs> well, do you know Ukraine? Yeah, so I think now, now, now I want to change my one, but it has a whole I, bunch of yeah. <laughs> Ukraine is blah blah blah. Come on. Okay. And I was like, is he gonna notice? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be right. Eventually. Have you be wrong? What, is, <laughs> what is the national dish of Ukraine? <laughs> So what is the national dish of the Ukraine? The Ukraine. A, <laughs> kupya, wheat berry pudding. B, pierogi, filled dumplings. Mm. C, borscht, beet soup. Oh, that's why they keep saying beets and all these other ones. Uh, or D, chicken Kiev, butter stuffed chicken. Now I'm gonna say the beet thing again, borscht, because, just because I want it to match my other answer. I want to say borscht too, um, but I like pierogies. I love pierogies. I thought borscht was Russian. Yeah. But I guess it's just a Ukraine region. is close. To it is. Russia. It is. I want to go weird though. How about I'm gonna say kutya, wheat berry pudding, because like, who, who makes that? Because I'm trying to go for a completely wrong yeah, well, 100%. A lot, of the, a lot of the stuff is weird. Which of the following is a wedding custom in the Ukraine? A. Wearing <laughs> rings on the right. <laughs> a. Wearing rings on the right hand. B. Women proposing to men. C. Hiding rings in the wedding cake. Or D. Getting matching tattoos. Wow. None of those seem right. I will say rings on the right hand. In Mother Russia, ring wears blue. <laughs> not Russian box. I don't, I don't, that would just be weird. Why would they choose the ring custom but then do it on a different hand? Because they're Ours are backwards. And hiding rings in the wedding cake seems weird, but I notice a lot of those European customs, they hide metal stuff in cake. Yep. That's a that's a thing here too though. King cake does that. Well, I guess with a baby it was plastic or something else. But it happened here. I wanna say woman proposing to men, because you know, girl power. Okay, I'm gonna go with hiding the ring and the cake. Okay. The world's oldest blank was found in Ukraine. A. Clock. B. Map. C. Fossil. Or D. Utensil. I think it was clock. Mm. 
Hmm. No. I lied. No? Maybe I don't. It's, I don't think it's fossil. Why not? I just don't. Just because I'm probably not smart. I'll just say fossil. I don't think it's Matt, because I feel like the oldest map makers were like sea bearing people. Also, I think probably the oldest map would be like China or something like that. Would you say clock? Clock makers? I think that's probably Switzerland, maybe. I don't know. They perfected it. Um, like something that counts as clock. How about utensil? I'm gonna say utensil. Okay. I, I wanted to say fossil first. You say, I don't know. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say utensil. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> true or false? <laughs> the full name of Ukraine is the Ukraine. Oh. False. Oh. During Soviet times, Ukraine was referred to as the Ukraine, meaning the borderland, because it was on the edge of the USSR. After Ukraine gained independence, they requested that the the be removed. Referring to the country as the Ukraine can be offensive to some Ukrainians. Okay. Sorry. Sorry to the Eucharist. He's sorry for how racist he is. As it diminishes, Eucharist not a race. As it diminishes their authority as a sovereign nation, the more you know. The more uh, you know. Number two, over 25% of the Ukrainians, and you said uh, bike to work, and I said grow their own vegetables. Oh, grow their own vegetables. Yay! Ukraine is home to one third of the world's Chernozem. It's Chernozem. One third of the world's Chernozem, a valuable nutrient rich soil that allows locals to cultivate some of the freshest, juiciest homegrown vegetables. Cool. Now, why would it be the freshest? Because doesn't that just mean you pick it and eat it? I mean, wouldn't the freshest be like if you just bent over and bit out of the vegetable on the ground, didn't matter where it grew. Anyway, this magic dirt is the reason Ukraine was nicknamed the breadbasket. Oh, that means that one of my other answers is probably wrong. Of Europe during the Soviet era and, uh, and supplied the USSR with most of the wheat and crops. They're still the USSR. Except they're not. Yeah. Ukraine is home to the world's largest, and you said instrument, and I said loaf of bread, and now I think that's wrong because it's the bread basket because they grow vegetables. Mm -hmm. Which, why wouldn't they be the vegetable basket? Translation error. Instrument. <laughs> is it Carolyn? See that man holding an instrument on the map of Ukraine? No. I used it as a plate. What is it? I have no idea what it is. That's an, obviously a didgeridoo. No. That's a trombita. A Not long a wooden... Well, that's the Ukrainian word for the didgeridoo. A long wooden horn played by Ukrainian Highlanders to send signals over vast distances. Oh, I know that thing. I know. Measuring anywhere, that's the thing when they show them up on the hill and the pipe goes all the way down the hill. And they're up at the top blowing it because that's what you do. You go to the top of the hill and you blow your horn. Okay. Because the sheep's in the meadow. Okay, okay. Measuring anywhere from three to ten feet, it's the longest musical instrument in the world, capable of carrying sound over six miles. Six miles. Ukraine has a special version of vodka made with, and we both said cinnamon. And it is our red peppers. Ukraine's traditional horiko. Horolka, 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 yeah. U 
craves traditional horelka isn't for the faint of heart. Its name comes from the word hority, meaning burning water. Need we say more? Bottle, that's racist, that's fire water. Bottle with whole red chili peppers. This fiery spirit is especially popular at weddings. Why not celebrate a memorable day with an even more memorable drink? Spice and red pepper wine. Vodka. It is customary for Ukrainians to avoid, and we both said smiling at strangers, because we believe that we just don't believe the Ukraine. That is not what I believe. That's what you said. You answered it. And the answer is smiling at strangers. Don't be surprised if you smile at a local and receive nothing in return. While Ukrainians are known for being friendly and welcoming, they typically don't smile without reason. That's good motivation to do something worthy of a real, genuine Ukrainian smile. Mm -hmm. See, that's because they have to wear those gray jumpsuits. Walk around with a funny slogan on your shirt. People will laugh. Mm -hmm. Or just walk around naked. Well, yeah, if you walk around naked, you know. Oh, they just go, oh! I love you. And then they laugh. And then they ask me to marry them. I know. Every one of those guys. Uh, Ukraine is the world's largest producer of, and I think you said sugar beets? And I said wool because of the dystopian. It is sunflower seeds. Which I completely didn't. They don't have sun in there. There's a reason that the sunflower is the national flower of Ukraine. <laughs> That's the answer to one of these trivias. The, what is it? National flower of Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine. The country produces 25% of the world's sunflower seeds and sunflower oil. As sunflower oil continues to grow in popularity, the future of this beautiful flower certainly looks sunny. Actually, wouldn't it be bleak if everyone's going to start using it? If they get scarce, they grow sunflowers in the land of no sun. And they grow vegetables. Which of the following is a wedding custom in Ukraine? And you said wearing rings on the right hand, and I said hiding rings in the wedding cake. And it is... Wearing rings on the right hand. Hey, well, I'm doing good. Unlike Americans, oh, it looks like I skipped one. Unlike Americans, okay. Ukraine wear their wedding rings on their right fingers, according to Orthodox custom. That means you're married in Ukraine and the United States. I'm married to myself. You have them on right now? Yeah. Uh, the rings themselves are also unique. While most American engagement rings contain diamonds, traditional Ukrainian bands are either plain gold or silver without gemstones. No, that's... American wedding bands are plain gold without gemstones. The engagement ring has the diamond on it. That's true. The one I skipped is, what is the national dish of Ukraine? And you said borscht. And I said, yeah, wheatberry pudding. And it is borscht. This bright and hearty dish can't it's be beat. Pink. Oh, oh, it's pink. You think everything is pink? I know it's pink. You think everything is pink? What color is your sweater? Borscht is a traditional sour soup loaded with juicy beets, savory meats, root vegetables, and spices that can't be served that can be served both hot and cold. While each family's recipe varies slightly, all borscht has one thing in common, a deep red hue from all those beets. Deep red hue from all those beets. Maybe you're using like sour cream. The world's oldest blank was found in the Ukraine, and you said clock, and I said utensil, and it is map. Ah, 
so they Stoof. did sometimes go places. I guess. And needed a map. Skillfully inscribed on a mammoth's tusk, the oldest map in the world was discovered in Meshurkish in 1966. The stunning artifact which depicts a group of dwellings along a river is said to have been carved in 10,000 BC. That's over 12,000 years ago. And uh, did, did you do the thingy? And that was the last question. So I don't know what the score is, but I'm pretty sure that I won. Again. I win. Are you salty? So the ones that were in the super yum box, ham and mustard puffs, creamy deluxe milk toffee, and choco pizza. I think this is a good amount of food to try for this because if it was more, I don't know. I mean, it would take forever to get through, and it's a lot of food, and maybe it's you know better for more than two people. I'm seeing a pattern here. Yes. Um, the super yum box always has something labeled pizza in it. <gasps> I think like the past three ones that we had, there was a there was a pizza thing in there, not choco pizza. The other one like was real like, pizza, because I mean the last pizza. box was Italy, okay. So, uh, but I think the Asian one had pizza in it too. The Asian one. The one with a whole bunch of Chinese stuff. Well, wasn't that the one that had a bunch of different stuff from different countries? Yeah, but it had a lot of Asian stuff. There were a lot of Asian countries. That is true. <laughs> Clue to next month's box. Golden rocks, gorgeous gardens, a very holy wall. Rocky desert, salty seas, this country has it all. We didn't even mention all the yums that you can eat. Popping chocolate, pomegranate, and a special nutty sweet. Oh. And it's got palm trees. I only solved one of blanks, but it starts with F. Then I already know the answer because it was upside down at the bottom of the answer. What? Seven letters. Yeah, that's the answer that was upside down at the bottom of the answer. You want me to tell you? Yes. It was falafel. Oh, I thought it was going to be a country. So. A jika comes from the word. I still remember. Well, it says the answer is um, no country makes blank quite like the one we're visiting next month. Yep. Get ready to taste the flavor in a crispy, crunchy yum. Mm -hmm. Falafel. My tummy feels weird. Well, don't eat these things together. And I'm breathing out tomato spam. And I have no more. You know what solves that, right? It's getting another can of it. Another can of uh, spam? Oh, this. Man, that spam smell is just hitting me. And it's, no, okay. I'm like, I thought it was the clothes one. It's this one here. Oh, 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 did you want to read the superstition thingies? Oh, yeah. And you can do that. News and notes. Strange superstitions. Every culture has its own set of superstitions, and Ukraine is no exception. Not the Ukraine. For generations, these unique customs and traditions have been followed by the young and the old, playing a significant role in day-to-day -day life. Let's decipher some of the do's and don'ts of Ukraine's most common superstitions. Do let a cat in. It's believed every Ukrainian home has a very protective and very temperamental house spirit called a dumbavoy. It's a double boy. Double boy. Before entering a new house, it's traditional to send in a cat to greet the spirit as they are the only beings that can communicate directly with double boys. Double boys. Sit, sit down. 
Before long trips, family members sit together in perfect silence for several minutes. Locals believe that doing so tricks evil spirits into thinking nothing important is happening. So they get bored and leave. They just stare at each other. 